Hi, I'm Rosaline, and I'm the project lead for the Interactive Animation Toolkit for Unity. Our project team this term were um, Rosaline Beck, Alex So, and Vina Chan, who were the work learn developers and designer. Alan Chen was our volunteer, and our faculty advisor was Dr. Patrick Pennyfather. EML has been creating 3D pedagogical Unity applications with subject matter experts to provide a guided tour of a 3D object. An example of this would be the fossil finder or 3D metabolism. During the production of these applications, a lot of the development team's time and effort have been spent on similar and repeated tasks. It is also difficult for non-technical subject matter experts to understand the development process. And in order to mitigate these issues, the Interactive Animation Toolkit for Unity team decided to create a node-based custom editor for Unity. It would accelerate the process of creating 3D guided tours and facilitate easier conversation between the subject matter experts and the development team. To create a guided tour of a 3D object in Unity requires us to play a specific animation clip given some conditions. For example, you might want to move the camera to a new position when the user presses some key. Um, information about these actions and animation clips of the application is stored in something called scriptable objects. And we have been using this for EML projects such as Fossil Finder, 3D Metabolism, and Language Chasing. There are currently two limitations of our use of scriptable objects. One, it is difficult to create and edit instances of scriptable objects solely using Unity's default inspector. And two, an external data structure is required if we want to go beyond playing the given animation clips linearly. Therefore, our team came up with the node base editor as a solution, which will enable developers to generate and edit custom scriptable objects from the UI directly, as well as letting the users define the flow of the animation clips from the UI. Hi, I'm Vita, and I was the designer. Um, when creating the interface, it was important that we made it usable for users, regardless of their level of experience with Unity. Um, in order to meet this requirement, we took inspiration from Unity's default windows that are frequently used in the animation process and applied elements of the interface into the current project while making improvements where needed. Um, users that are new to Unity can therefore easily learn how to use the window and these skills can hopefully be carried over to the rest of their work using Unity. Also, the technical skills of an advanced Unity user would be transferable to the windows we created. Hi, I'm Alex and I was a developer. Um, I'll talk about Unity's UI Toolkit. To create the custom windows, we used a UI Toolkit provided by Unity. So UI Toolkit is a system and set of utilities meant to create UI for both editor extensions and engine runtime. It was created as a way to replace the older uh, immediate mode GUI system by leveraging ideas similar to web technologies. So just as web page layouts can be uh, specified using HTML and CSS, UI layouts in UI Toolkit can be specified using UI XML and USS. UXML is XML using built-in and custom UI elements as tags, while USS is a subset of CSS. Tying this together to add dynamic functionality is C Sharp. Our development experience with UI Toolkit has generally been positive. A major advantage was the reusability and modularity of the UI elements. And while the learning curve can be steep for developers with no experience using web technologies to develop UI, the documentation for these elements and APIs is complete, and the forums and Stack Overflow provided to be an invaluable source of additional information. One downside is the duplication between the UXML and C-sharp code, where the streams, like the same string, can appear more than once. And also, styles and uh, templates can interact in complex, unintuitive ways. We experienced quite a few crashes as well with the Unity editor. So overall, UI Toolkit is in the process of maturing. I will now demonstrate the extensions I've been working on. The first extension is the Animation Description Generating Window. It consists of a reusable Animation Description element which maps objects to states. Here's a button that triggers a folder panel to specify the save location. And there's also a field for the name of the file. This window includes input validation and therefore savable and non-savable states. The next is a custom inspector uh, which the motivation for which was that the default inspector did not have sufficient capabilities. And it mostly consists of the reusable element as seen before. Finally, we have the main focus, which is the node system window. We can create and delete nodes of state or transition type. 
The state nodes have a foldout, which shows the animation is an element as before, allowing the user to edit the data. Transition nodes include an event type and an event value. So for example, seconds um, delay and the number of seconds can be entered. In the very near future, we'll be working on connecting nodes and also integrating the front end and back end. Here's a look at what connecting nodes might look like. We conducted user testings with participants that have varying experiences with Unity, specifically with creating animations. Uh, each session involved participants completing tasks using the custom window we had created for making scriptable objects. And here are the main results. All participants successfully changed an object in an object state pair. However, everyone experienced difficulties because they expected the object field to be directly editable. But given limitations with implementing the window, this was not possible. Um, with it, with this in mind, we may consider alternative solutions that allow users to change the object more easily, as well as providing users with more instructions to help them understand the workaround for editing the object fields. Um, another issue was that participants were unsure as to whether the scriptable object was saved. Although console messages were printed to confirm this, none of the participants noticed them and instead checked their project folders. This supports our design choice of providing feedback. However, further improvements should be made regarding the placement of them. Perhaps in the next iteration, we may consider having them within the custom window. Hi, um, I'm Alan. I was a design volunteer. The interactive, interactive animation toolkit for Unity visualized the, the flow of animation of multiple objects in the scene, which was challenging um, given the original Unity environment. With this, non-technical subject matters experts will be able to understand the flow of a project easily and suggest modifications and needed. 3D technicians will be able to quickly prototype given or two as well. So in the future terms, we hope to improve upon our toolkit and add features to the toolkit to aid 3D Unity guided tour projects. And thanks for uh, listening to our presentation.